Hello investors, welcome back to Technical Analysis with Lennox. On this video, we'll be looking at a JSE listed shipping company. And without wasting of time, let's just get right into it. So I did actually do this analysis some time ago. I think it was last year, November. And at the time, I think this stock was trading around five rands, four rands, somewhere there. And this is what I said. And I posted this analysis on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter account, the analyst triple seven. That's why I actually posted this analysis. And I explained my train of thought on the stock. And on the post, I said, I'm seeing the stock rejecting at this level here at a time. So it was November. So this is November here. You can see here going down to my horizontal axis. And I said, I'm seeing the stock rejecting at this level here, coming to test this level here. And then from there, we'll see the stock going up here. So what I was looking at, it was it was this head and shoulder here. I did mark this using arrows. Uh, so this was our head, left shoulder, and the right shoulder here. And my first target, I think it was around seven rands going down to going up to eight rands. And this should just show you guys that this technical analysis that I am doing is not it's not some Mickey Mouse clubhouse as uh, some may think. We're not we're not drawing lines for vibes. And um, there's, there's this misconception that technical analysis is arts. Technical analysis is not arts. What technical analysis is, is that, um, so what I'm doing here on this screen here, this is data here. So this is data that is represented by candles. So this date, these candles here, they represent data prices. They represent uh, prices of this, of this stock here. And what we, we are doing with technical analysis is that we're using statistical tools and sometimes mathematical tools to model this data here. And when we model the data, we get an idea of the direction of the data. So that's, that's the core principle of technical analysis is that we are modeling this data here, this data prices here, and get an idea of, of the nature of the data and the direction of the data. And this is why we are able to uh, predict the direction of the market using technical analysis. It's, it's, a, it's a concept that is, is based on statistics and mathematics. It has nothing to do with arts. Anyone who says technical analysis is arts, I'm afraid uh, they might not really know what technical analysis is. It has nothing to do with these lines that we're drawing. The lines that you see, these are just for illustration purposes and just to give us a picture of how these trends or data might be looking like visually. So that's why we're using this so-called trend support and we're marking these crucial areas here. So that's technical analysis that I do. It has nothing to do with data. But um, let's just get into the purpose of uh, this video here. So currently, the stock has broken. The stock has broken out of this uh, out of this neckline here that I spoke about in November last year. So this is the neckline that I'm talking about here, and we've seen people now they they're starting to talk about the stock. But to my surprise, no one was talking about this stock when it was trading around these levels of uh, five rents going down to four rents. No one wanted to even touch this stock here, but now that it's rallying up, everyone wants to get their hands on the stock. And yes, yes, my train of thought on the stock in this uh, current levels here, I'm actually seeing a resistance here. I'm seeing a resistance here. And this is where things get interesting now. People will probably buy this stock because of the hype and they, they probably get uh, 
the market will, will probably deal with them because I'm currently seeing a resistance here and I'm expecting some price weakness now. I'm expecting a price weakness to, to about, let's say this is um, 7 rands 50 and the stock can go to as low as, uh, so from here, it can go to as low as um, 6 rands 30 cents. And then from there, I'll expect it to continue going up. And the first target from here or from this, this rejection, if ever it does happen, my first target would be around 10 rents per share for green, green rot. And uh, from here, I'll, I'll be expecting price to weaken again to about this level here, which is uh, nine rents. And then from there, I'd have my, my last target at this level here, which is um, 12 rands, 67 cents here. So this right here, ladies and gentlemen, would be my, my last target on green rod in the short medium term. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying in the short medium term because this is what I can only focus for now until then, until we get enough data to predict what the next move, uh, I'll have my target at uh, 12 and 60 cents. And uh, as we get more data, I'll, I'll probably update this here. And so when price is trading around this level here, it will give me an idea of whether price will continue going up or we might just see a, a trend reversal here, we might just see price continue to weaken here. So that'll be it for green rot. Remember my first target was around seven going up to eight. Now I'm expecting price weakness to about 750 going down to 630. And then from there, the stock can rally up to 10 rents per share. And then from there, some weakness to about nine rents. And it might just continue going to 12 rents 057 per share. And that'll be my analysis for, for green rot. If you are looking for, for lessons on technical analysis, just uh, hit me up on Twitter, or you can buy my ebook that is out. It's called technical analysis for investing. So this is just technical analysis that I've simplified for investors that uh, don't have interested interest in becoming traders so you can you can buy that ebook it will help you mark these uh, crucial levels and it will help you have a better entry point on your positions and you're not going to buy every drop in the market because uh, it, 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 it seem or it's seen as a as a dip uh, but that, otherwise remember to subscribe comment like the video and let's get the channel to 1000 subscribers i have a surprise for you guys when we when we reach 1000 subscribers there's a there's a surprise for you i'm sure you guys are definitely going to love it uh, otherwise let's meet again next week same place same time i'm out